So uh, this is great, huh? Won a big prize today, huh? So my name is uh, Alexander Berver. I'm a physician from uh, Norway. I'm, I'm actually living in Sweden and being a spine surgeon there where I did uh, medical school. I'm also a PhD student and uh, what I'm uh, looking at is patient-centered uh, health systems using uh, mHealth and eHealth. When I first started with my uh, service, I was... I saw a big problem in the ER, and in the ER there were like ambulances coming in with a patient, and they were used to have like a Polaroid fo uh, photo of the car accident. And then at that moment we were not interested to look at the Polaroid photo, we just wanted to save the, the patient that came in. So I thought, well, everybody has like a mobile telephone in the ambulance, so why don't we just take pictures of the accident and then send it into our platform on, uh, at the hospital, and we can look at it. And before the ambulance comes in, we will have time to prepare ourselves. So trying to put this idea and this platform into the hospital was very, very, very difficult. It was kind of impossible, and even though I have a lot of energy, I cannot uh, fight <laughs> against the hospital uh, who are not uh, willing to put this in. So I had friends who are dermatologists, and what they didn't enjoy was, for example, when they went to dinner parties, and someone heard that they were a dermatologist, they would always like, oh, uh, you know, you're a dermatologist, what's this? Do you know what this is? And then after a couple of wines, you know, what, uh, you know, they go into the back room, you know, and they take, hey, hey, you know what this is, you know what this? So they kind of thought this was kind of awkward. So when I asked them if they could like start using my, my service or uh, look at these pictures, they thought this was a great idea because then they could just give out a card and they say, look, use this app or use this uh, in your mobile telephone and uh, we can do, you can do it in your uh, time and in your privacy. So, skin advice in any device, 24-7, and this is like an anonymous service. So, when you send in to us, we don't know who's sending in. It's completely anonymous. So, for example, this is basically a story that uh, if you go to the GP with your uh, kid like this, it's very difficult for the GP to actually uh, put a diagnosis on this. There are studies that show that a GP can diagnose correctly on the 20 most common skin diseases, while a dermatologist can do it up to 96%. So it's nearly double. So the story is here a little bit. You come to the GP, the GP looks at it and says, well, I try this cream. You try this cream for three weeks, doesn't work, you go back. The, the, the uh, GP says, well, uh, maybe it's this, you try that. Three weeks, you come back again. And then the third time, the GP will say, well, we refer to a dermatologist. And you will wait up to maybe six months if you don't go to a private uh, dermatologist. So basically, using my service, you will get an answer within 24 hours. And the average time is about three to four hours. So in 2008, we started just with uh, the mobile telephone. Uh, I, I guess you're a little bit surprised, but the uh, iPhone didn't really come out before 2009, right? So we started with MMS, and we were sending premium MMS. That means when you were sending it in to us, we were actually debiting your uh, uh, mobile telephone uh, operator. So that's how you were making money. So it's like a double click. You didn't have to uh, subscribe. You didn't have to do anything. You just had to send into a specific number with a code and describe your problem and your uh, upload your photo, and then you paid. So it's like a really easy service. No subscription, no, uh, no accounts, nothing. So this is like a typical answer which you would get from us. So for example, this probably looks like herpes simplex. It's a virus, causes blisters and sores around the mouth, blah, blah, blah. Treatment, acyclovir, ointment oil, pain relief medication if painful. So this is like a typical answer that we would give back. What's the key here a little bit is, for example, that we say it's herpes simplex. If you have basically searched Google, which 80% of the people do when they have uh, symptoms, red spot, you would get like millions of pages. But since you sent this into us, where we have dermatologists, and they think they know what the answer is or the diagnosis, they can send back herpes simplex. And now, if you do a Google uh, search on herpes simplex, you get the really, really good sites, which the patients want, and what the, they can look for more information. So then we also went on, uh, we had a web form, and this is pretty cool, this web form. This is like something I call an iframe. So this we can embed in any health portal, in any website, 
and what it says, it says powered by IDOC 24. So you, when you put it in, uh, you can use it to like make content on your site, on your site, you know, ask the doctor or anything like that. But what's cool about this is that using my service with my doctors. And then we have the iPhone app, which came out, and uh, this is free to download. And when you downloaded it, it's uh, like a normal skin book. You can read about the normal skin diseases. And then if you really want to send in something, you press send your case in to iDoc24. And then you take two pictures, one overview and then one close view. And you also write a little bit of description of the symptoms uh, that you have. And if you can read, I don't know, the number six there, that's the response. So he sent in at, uh, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And he had a response at uh, 2.52. So this guy waited like 50 minutes from a dermatologist to get an answer. And the answer that he was uh, given was that this looks like a cyst. It's not dangerous, but uh, there can come some blood out, some pus, and something like that. Uh, the best treatment is surgical removal, which is performed with local anesthesis. Consult your local dermatologist if it doesn't get better, right? So this is a little film just to show how it works. So this is the key when you get the receipt back where you have like the errand number. So with this errand number, that's how you can retrieve your case. And this is how it makes your, uh, you completely anonymous. We don't know who's sending in to us. So a little bit uh, about that, and that's very cool. We had like a little, uh, you know, asking how many had iPads and iPhones. So basically, since I won this competition, I want to offer another competition to you guys where you can download my app into your iPhone, and whoever gets the first answer from one of my dermatologists will get a bottle of champagne. Well, isn't that great? <laughs> so we take this a little bit further on, right? Uh, we've gone further. we go now into diagnosis cancer. So we like going two years uh, ahead. So with this little thing, which is an aperture, which you can put on your iPhone like this. It's called a dermoscope. You can put that in your iPhone, and usually GPs, they would have it. And you can send in pictures of, your, of the moles of your patients and get an answer within a couple of hours and saying if it's cancer or not. These patients, they will then be uh, called to the hospital, to the uh, skin clinic. And when the cases that we've seen that they've been cancerous, we go, they go directly to an operation. So you don't have to meet a dermatologist beforehand. They'll go directly to the operation. So we actually save a dermatologist uh, visit. So we're doing this really big study in Sweden. We're collecting 1,000 patients. We have 500 at the moment. This is sponsored by the government because we are one of the uh, countries in the world that have the highest incidence of skin cancer, malign melanoma. We have 500 people who die of this a year in Sweden. And it can all be cured if you just find the melanoma at the right time. And what's great news, with the 400 cases that we actually got in right now, I can tell you a little secret that we actually saved one life. This guy, uh, taking a photo of him, he had a Breslow score of 0.42 millimeters. That means he has a survival rate of 95, uh, five years survival rate, 95%. And what's very cool is that uh, he got an answer, the, dog, the GP got an answer within 30 minutes. He was operated on within a week. So it's a little bit sorry when the big uh, advertisement from Hennes and Maurits comes out with this uh, advertisement where they really want to show people who have brown, brown color, right? So I actually, as an entrepreneur, I call a H&M up and I say, look, I have this great app. You know, why don't we do something together? And you'll be good doing something great for people with uh, skin cancer or with your campaign. And they haven't actually come back to me yet. So this is a little bit how it looks like. So you take the app, you put it on the skin, and then you, you see the picture above, that's like an overview. And the picture above, that's like of a, a picture of uh, uh, malign melanoma, actually. 
So what's interesting as well, we had a 2,000 increase of malignant melanoma since 1930s. So this is something really, really cool which we are doing and we are actually saving lives. So this was the case I was talking about. So what about the media? Well, when I first came out... I think we are, you're out of time already, but... Um, but, but didn't I win the competition? Yes, but Special ah, favor. I'm sorry. For I'm sorry. Okay, so this is like a little bit funny. So since you're anonymous, there are a lot of cases that are coming in which are on sexually, sexually related diseases, right? Send in your STDs. So a Norwegian uh, company, they did this. They did a funny uh, thing about the diseases. And we have like, in, uh, in, um, yeah, as you know, with the Belgian and the French, you make uh, funny jokes about, about each other. And I'm Norwegian, but I live in Sweden. So there was another newspaper that said, Norwegian doctor examines Swedish sex organs via MMS. <laughs> okay, I got done that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.